In today's video, I will tell you a simple little trick that helped me manifest many great things in my life. I didn't do it intentionally in the beginning, as I was unaware of the law. Doing this activity made me feel important and loved, and as a result, things were going smoothly. Before learning about the law, I abused this trick and got myself into a really bad state that further reflected my reality. I was all unaware of why it was happening and had a desire to change my life, that is when the law presented itself to me and things started clicking, which changed my life experience to a beautiful one. The majority of you are familiar with this trick or activity, and if things are not going right in your life, you might be abusing it just like I did in the past. The trick that I am mentioning is listening to songs before bedtime. Songs that you listen to can be a great way to change your mood. There are different songs that evoke different emotions in you. Songs can change the way you think about a situation, and listening to songs that evoke those good emotions in you is exactly what you need just before going to sleep. Some of you will be like, what's new in this? I know there is nothing new in this. Some of you are listening to them every day, but the main point I want to make you aware of is to listen them before sleeping. Sleep is a very refreshing activity that has a significant impact on your daily life. Physically, it charges the body and repairs cells. Mentally, it makes you feel calm. From a manifestation perspective, it helps to impress your subconscious mind. Sleep is such an important process of life that Neville Goddard has dedicated a whole chapter to it in his book, Feeling is the Secret. Sleep, the life that occupies one-third of our stay on Earth, is the natural door into the subconscious. It is in sleep and in prayer, a state akin to sleep, that man enters the subconscious to make his impressions and receive his instructions. In these states, the conscious and subconscious are creatively joined. He clearly says that the conditions and events of your life are your children, formed from the molds of your subconscious impressions and sleep. They are made in the image and likeness of your innermost feelings, which they may reveal to you. Your innermost feelings are the manifestation of your life's events. Also, whatever you have in your consciousness as you go to sleep is the measure of your expression in the waking two-thirds of your life on earth. With this statement, you can see how significant this one-third of our life is. Whatever is in your consciousness just before you go to sleep manifests, either you sleep in the state of wanting your desire, or having it. Either you can choose to feel like a loser, or a winner, that's totally up to you. Once asleep, man has no freedom of choice. His entire slumber is dominated by his last waking concept of self. As a result, whatever belief you have about yourself prior to going to bed manifests in your reality. That's why dreams occur, and you tend to look up their meanings. A funny incident happened to me last night. Before falling asleep, I was talking to a friend. With a little bit of alcohol in my body, we were having an intense conversation about our friends who had turned disloyal. After having this, I slept, and I kid you not. I had a dream of being surrounded by dogs. Not to mention, I am not scared of them, I am a dog person. But, in this dream, two dogs had a huge mouth and bit me on both sides of my arm. They were literally hanging on my arms, and I tried to get rid of them. Later, when I woke up, I realized that a dog is considered a man's best friend because of its loyalty, and my dream was in a way symbolically representing my last waking concept about friends who showed disloyalty. Now that I know about the law, instead of complaining, I will change this assumption. It is okay to have our moments of complaining. It is natural to occur when we are having a human experience. It is acceptable to have those days because you can change them. What is not okay is to suppress them. When we suppress them in any way, they become ugly. So, whenever you go looking for the meanings of your dreams, it is just someone else's experience that they are sharing. Accept it or reject it, that's totally up to you. Now, can you see how much impact sleep has on our lives? Never sleep with the idea of being a failure, rather, feel successful. Never sleep in a state of hatred, always sleep in a state of love. The trick is to listen to beautiful music that makes you feel loved and accomplished before going to sleep. Make a playlist today of the songs that make you feel those emotions. One of the songs that I heard countless times before sleeping is My Heart Will Go On. This is a really beautiful, soothing song, and it makes me feel loved, which eventually manifests. Instead of listening to those songs that portray yourself as a weak person, the heartbreaking songs, invest your time in the beautiful songs. My whole intention with this video is to shift your attention from mindless scrolling on social media to a fun activity that can change your life for the better. Adopt this, use it to its maximum advantage, or abuse it by listening to heartbreaking sad songs. If you like listening to songs, then this trick would be really beneficial to you. Otherwise, use something else, read a book if you like, listen to story. Ever wonder why bedtime stories are passed on from generations to generations? Your parents might have told you some bedtime stories that were full of morals, stories about bravery, kings, and queens. All of them were used to develop self-concepts, the cartoons you watched shaped the way you think. Those things made you a wonderful person full of love and joy. 
But what now? You have drenched yourself in the booty-shaking reels of Instagram influencers who only know to twerk. My money doesn't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Anyways, keep watching those reels, some are really great, haha. Cut yourself off from social media before going to bed and instead buy an MP3 player or something that can only play songs and not videos. Songs are to be heard, not watched. Invest in that Kindle or some other ebook reader instead of reading from your smartphone device, because notifications will pop up and you will get distracted. Commit to doing something before going to bed that will leave you feeling whole. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is my birthday today. Wish me luck. Subscribe if you learned something wonderful today. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.